Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Thursday and I have your word for the day. Do you still have doubts about Jesus? Do you still have lingering doubts about God's love for you or God's power or Jesus' authority over all of life? Do you still struggle sometimes maybe listening to a sermon or during, during worship? Do you still struggle with a little bit of doubt? Do you want to believe but does something hold you back? If so, I want you to know you are in great company. The disciples had been living with Jesus. They traveled with Jesus. They watched him work miracle after miracle after miracle for other people. Yet the first time they are confronted with a storm that threatens to take their lives, they panic. And they begin to live out fear rather than faith. The account is found in Mark chapter 4, verses 35 through 41, and it says this, As evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took Jesus in the boat and started out, leaving the crowds behind, although other boats followed. But soon a fierce storm came up. High waves were breaking into the boat, and it began to fill with water. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. The disciples woke him up shouting, Teacher, don't you care that we are going to drown? When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Silence, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? The disciples were absolutely terrified. Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and the waves obey him. The disciples, the disciples had firsthand experience of Jesus' might and miraculous power. Yet when it was time for Jesus to do something for them, they doubted. They had watched Jesus work miracles for other people, but now they were placed in a position that they doubted Jesus would really work in their life. Is that like you? I know I've been like that at times. See, I love to see God work miracles in others' lives. I believe that God will work miracles in others' lives, but often I don't ask God to work a miracle in my life. Doubts, they are miserable. They can weigh us down, but I have good news for you. Jesus' work in the disciples' lives even though they had doubts. See, Jesus worked in the disciples' lives even though they had some doubts, even though they thought they were going to drown. That means God can work in yours and my imperfect faith too. So keep asking God to work and to change and to work a miracle. And even if you struggle with some unbelief, please know that He knows your faith is not perfected. He loves you and he's going to work in your life anyway. Ask him to help you overcome your doubts and he will. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, apply it, and leave a comment. God bless.